have you or you and a group of friends ever came with an idea that you guys were just so high on that er that everybody just forgot to ask themselves, you know what, what could go wrong? Me as a young person who likes to go and have fun every now and then can agree that I found myself in situations where I ask myself, how do I get myself into this mess, you know? And uh, this story is about how me and a group of friends survived a miserable night in the, in the woods. And this, this is an entertaining and informal story about how just because you don't want something to happen doesn't mean it won't happen. So the story starts out, it's I'm 18 years old and I, me and my friends, we just graduated from high school. And it's a warm summer morning and my buddy calls me and he asks me if I want to go camping. And I say, yeah. And he, t and he tells me that he doesn't know where we can find a good camping spot. And I tell him, no problem. I know of a good camping spot that's in my neighborhood. It's, in, it's deep in the woods. That, and I found this place when I was in middle school, you know, so I take him over to the spot, you know, and we had to go into the woods, 1.5 miles deep into the woods where, to get to the actual camping spot. So we, we get to the spot, we evaluate it, and we like what we see. So we call up our friends and we kind of just book the rest of the night. So we, we go over there, we got our, we got our tents and our e-news. We also got our, some alcohol, some, some marijuana, you know, and you know, it's just kind of set up. You know, the music's playing. Uh, the lady friends that we had invited that night apparently uh, actually couldn't come uh, that night. So we had to carry on, you know, you know, just us and the boys, you know, and we're, you know, we're having fun playing music, partying, you know, just enjoying, ha everyone's having a good time. And one of our friends in the neighborhood kind of calls us and he lets us know that he saw two cops entering the, the entrance in the woods where the campsite's located in. And so we end up having to stop what we're doing and walk back a half mile more deep into the woods and kind of just crouch down low for like 30 minutes and until we got the, the green light from our friend. You know, so our friend calls us, he tells us that the coast is clear. And so we kind of go back to the camping spot and we continue on for a night, but at a minimum. You know, it's like, like 4 a.m. at this point and we you know we're all kind of just tired and, and beat and we, we all kind of get into our enus and our and our and our tents and we kind of call it a night and then wouldn't you know wouldn't you know like the thunder just erupts and it just starts raining cats and dogs all over us and we kind of have to make a decision like quick and we just ultimately decide to just grab everything that we could and just you know just run one and a half miles in the woods it's 4 a.m it's it's really dark and you know, like we got our stuff, we're running and everyone's just tri tripping on mud, like everybody tripping all over each other and like, it, like it's just one big mess. And you know, like I, I think about to this day and it just seems like a real big, a real dream, you know? And so we, we pop, we get out, we run out of the woods and we ended up piling into my friend's car like a bunch of clowns. And we just drive back to my house and we just finish the night out sleeping in my basement. And what we had learned from that night is that we should have been more uh, thoughtful of the of the weather, and we should have been more thoughtful of the the like what if cops were to come and intrude our night, you know. And so what we what we uh, took from that night is that in the future it's a lot better to be proactive rather than reactive. Thank you.